With concealed carry now legal in all 50 states, more and more people are making the choice to carry a firearm for their personal defense. How do you carry it? Well, that's a great question. And with me to answer that question is Adam Painsho with the SIG Academy. Adam, let's talk about concealed carry. I mean, a lot of people carry on the body, but there's many different ways to do that. Uh, right now, we're gonna talk about the ankle holster. Sounds good. Uh, yeah, yeah. Concealment is uh, certainly very popular. A lot of the folks coming to the Six Hour Academy, uh, I'd say, well, I don't know what the percentage is, but a lot, maybe 50% or even more, are looking for concealed carry type of training. Um, we uh, we teach all different sorts of carry holsters, ankles, pockets, all that type of stuff. But uh, today, we're specifically, talking about the ankle holster. I happen to have an ankle holster on right now. Um, I've been carrying an ankle holster for about 15 years. I'm a big fan of the ankle holster. Um, what's convenient about the ankle holster is it's super concealed. Of course, you have to be, it's not going to work in shorts, mm -hmm. uh, but we're in New Hampshire, so we don't ha wear shorts too much up here. Uh, but the, uh, the ankle holster is super concealable, and it works real good from a concealment standpoint, especially when you have to have a tucked-in shirt. Like, for instance, right now, I've got a tucked-in shirt, um, and if I have to go to an event or out on the street in public and I don't want to wear a vest or untuck my shirt, um, the ankle holster is a great option. A pocket is another good option as well for something like that. Uh, but specifically with the ankle holster, pretty decent option for concealment. Now. Concealment, great option. Getting to it requires a little bit of work. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of folks uh, carry ankle holsters and uh, they don't necessarily practice with it. Um, an ankle holster, just like anything, but specifically with an ankle holster, it's certainly one of those uh, draw type of positions you, you've got to dedicate a little time and practice to because it does take a little bit more work to get to and it's granted way down there. Um, now, what I do like about an ankle holster as well is that uh, we spend a lot of time seated in the vehicle. Uh, if you think to yourself as you're seated in the vehicle, you can get to an ankle holster pretty quick for me like a anti-carjack type of situation or something like that, or sitting down at a desk or a restaurant, pretty accessible. But when you're standing up, it requires a little bit of work to get down there. Sure. Um, so, well, first off though, wh what gun to carry? Well, you're, you know, your full size uh, Sig Sauer P226 or your, your Glock 17 or, or that Springfield you're carrying right now, probably not gonna lend itself very good for, for concealment on the ankle. Uh, so you really gotta, you know, shorten down the pistol quite a bit. Um, today I'm carrying a little Sig Sauer P238. This is a little, uh, little 380 caliber pistol. Uh, it's mm -hmm. a great little concealment gun for the ankle. Uh, there's a lot of them out here uh, uh, that, are, that are that size type of pistol. Pistol. And this size type of gun works real good for an ankle. Um, so, like we're talking micro guns or subcompacts sure. would be would be best for the ankle. Anything bigger than a subcompact, you you may be able to get on an ankle, and some people may be able to conceal it, but it's uh, not going to be comfortable at all. You're going to be wearing bell bottoms. Yeah, you're going to be wearing bell bottoms and walking with a limp. So yeah. you need a fairly small pistol to sure. uh, to carry on an ankle. Uh, and this one works great for me. I've been carrying this one on my ankle for about two years or so. Um, little revolver is a great option. Little five shot revolver is mm -hmm. a great option for for ankles as well. Now specifically how to how to use an ankle holster. Uh, what we'll typically recommend with an ankle holster is to carry it on your inside non-dominant ankle. Mm -hmm. All right. So I'm I'm a right-handed guy, so I draw with my right hand so you can see that I've got my ankle holster on my inside left side. Yep. All right. And what I'll actually do when I when I use this holster is I'll actually keep it so that it's not only on the inside Mm -hmm. But I'll actually, for myself, I'll kind of move it forward just a little bit. And what that does is that prevents the butt of the gun from being down here so I don't kick it with my other foot as I walk. Mm -hmm. It also kind of conceals the gun a little bit better as it's moved up here just a little bit. The gun kind of blends in with my shin bone. Mm -hmm. And with my pants over it, even with these low shoes or sneakers, it works out pretty good. Great. So it's a great option for concealment. So we recommend typically inside of your non-dominant side. Now, I've seen folks get away with carrying it on their outside strong side mm -hmm. doesn't work for me a little bit bulky yep. um, but it is an option as well so getting the gun out of the holster how to do that well there's a couple different ways to do it um, I want to limit my uh, my static uh, my static position so I'm a big fan of keeping my mobility mm -hmm. um, so I'm not a huge fan of dropping down to a knee to get it out I would prefer to just bring the leg up and get it out um, so one of the one of the techniques that we typically train with to get the uh, gun out of the ankle holster is I'm simply going to have to bring my knee up to my body, pull my pants up over the gun, and get the gun out of the holster. Now, I can't do that 
very slow and demo it for you because I'm going to fall over. Sure. I have to maintain that balance that we've talked about before with stance. Uh, so basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring my, uh, bring my knee up to me, grab the holster, pull my pants down a little bit, and then get my gun out and I can draw it out from there. And that works pretty good. And I okay. could do that on the move pretty quick, get that thing out and go to it pretty quickly. Um, so that technique works pretty good. Another technique would be to bend down to the gun. So another mm -hmm. technique I, I could use Another technique I could use is simply go down and take a knee. So as I'm moving, I could simply reach down over my pants, pull the pants up over the gun, drop down to a knee, and get the gun out and do one of those things. And that works out pretty slick as well. Great. There's a few different ways to do it. Very nice. Anything else you should know about an ankle holster? Um, Train with it, practice with it, um, and don't forget it's there. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, something about an ankle holster, I just did it before we had this little discussion, is uh, ankle holster is way down there and the thing gets abused and used a little bit. Uh, you wear an ankle holster enough, you're gonna have dust bunnies in there, you're gonna have ketchup and french fries and all kinds of stuff. So you're gonna wanna take that thing out a little bit more than you would with your hip, hip gun and clean that up. Um, like I'm running a single action, so or in and around the hammer area, there's you know some sock lint and stuff like that. Oh, sure. So you're gonna wanna take that thing out and give it a little bit cleaning occasionally yep. um, but uh, practice with the ankle holster find something that's um, that, that's going to work for you in an ankle rig as far as the holster specifically concerned you want a real comfortable holster um, I like I like ankle holsters that have uh, like a neoprene uh, oh, yeah. like like a neoprene type of uh, material which is stretchy and real comfortable and they have some type of padding on the inside that's super sure. cozy this particular one's by Galco it's a Galco ankle glove which is a great little uh, ankle holster um, Alessi makes a nice one there's a there's a bunch of nice ones out there for an ankle holster but the, I, I like this one I've been carrying it for some years now pretty comfortable way to carry yeah it's very comfortable very comfortable if you if you have a, a cheap flimsy ankle holster and a too big of a gun it's not comfortable at all but something sure. like this you know I uh, you know I don't even know it's there half the time of course I don't forget about that but uh, it's uh, it's easy to forget about it because it's real comfortable so would you consider that only as a backup gun or is that a, a, a well um, depending on your situation a it lot seems that personally you could... yeah it, you could go either way with it personally for me it's kind of a backup gun um, when I'm doing law enforcement work I carry an ankle holster as a backup mm -hmm. um, a lot of the times when I'm around here at the SIG Academy I have a gun on my hip that I'm teaching with or just just carrying every day and I'll have the ankle ankle holster on me as well. Um, there are times though I'll go to events like I was talking about earlier that if I've got to walk in someplace or it just doesn't make sense to have something on my belt and I need it tucked in that it is my primary. Yep. Um, I don't I don't necessarily like having my ankle gun as my primary but mm -hmm. I've at least got something with me and it does give sure. me an option. So well, it's a great uh, alternative to not having anything at all. Yeah big fan of that yeah uh, and it, this is it, it really does fill that void because there are a lot of people out there that they have that medium or full-size gun and it's uh, just not going to be conducive to concealed carry in a lot of places so what they'll do is just choose not to carry and mm -hmm. if that's what you do it's what you do uh, but for those folks who've dedicated themselves to, to carrying a gun concealed for personal protection I would rather have them at least have something and uh, you can be very proficient with an ankle holster and a small gun like that you just need to devote some training time to it um, there's uh, th this job will certainly or this gun will certainly get the job done sure. um, in, in most cases with a little bit of training and then the right the right ammo and gear and all that stuff well you made a great point you can't do anything with firearms if you don't practice. And getting out to the range is the key to becoming proficient with your firearms. So now that you know about ankle holsters, consider that for your personal carry and personal protection use. And if you're looking for a place to shoot, visit our website. It's called wheretoshoot.org. And when you're on the range, remember, firearm safety depends on you. Thanks, Adam. Anytime. Appreciate it.